Hi, in this video we're going to have a look at the diagrams created by Hava when you connect your cloud accounts. So if we have a look on the environments dashboard, you have all of the diagrams that are generated um, by Hava by either connecting a cloud account or by generating uh, on the fly diagrams using the um, query builder here. So if we take a look at this AWS diagram as you hop in. So what you see is the infrastructure laid out by uh, VPC um, with the availability zones here and subnets through there. On the right hand side you've got an attribute pane. So this is contextual to whatever you've got selected on the diagram at any one time. So we can select uh, A or B's here for instance, S3 bucket as you can see, the, the metadata in the attributes pane changes to reflect what you have selected. On the diagram, so selecting the VPC, there's a number of items within the attribute pane that are also uh, selectable. So here are the security groups, for instance, um, by hovering over each of the security groups, um, the diagram will highlight all of the resources that belong to that group. So if you can see here the demo all servers, you're getting highlights appear when you hover over that. The diagram controls to the left hand side here. So you've got zoom in and out. You've got a skew view here. Um, there's a 3D view. Here. Uh, also on the attributes pane on the side, you've got with nothing selected, You've got a map of the regions that are active um, within your environment. Also a monthly cost estimate through here with a breakdown of um, all the resources and the, uh, the estimated costs for each of those. And then across here you've got a version tab. So the versions um, are with Hava. The, the software polls your infrastructure daily and then if it detects a change at all it will update the diagram automatically and then the superseded diagram is placed into a version history so you can select something um, in the past and then view the diagram as if it was um, live so all of the the version history can, is totally um, selectable so you can drill into the infrastructure as if it was live today. So there are a number of views, uh, what we call views, um, related to your diagrams. So here we're looking at an infrastructure view. Um, there's also an extended infrastructure view, which gives a, a, a bit more data pertaining to the individual resources. So we've got um, here with the NAT gateway, we've got the, the resource name, IP addresses and so forth um, that are displayed against there. Um, there are a number of view options as well um, with the diagram. So you can, um, so if we hop back to infrastructure view, for instance, the view options, you've got display names. So each of the resource names are, are tagged underneath the resource and also um, display connections. So you've got the connections between the individual resources displayed as well. So as default, they're off to keep the, the diagram nice and clean, but you can switch those on. Um, there's also some layout controls here. So you can stretch out the amount of space between resources. Um, you can increase the height. Um, if you like, and then also stretch the subnet columns out. 
and back and then lastly we've got um, the older icon sets if you prefer working with those they're available um, as well another type of view we've got down here is the list view so what the list view does is it details all of the resources that are visualized on the diagrams but it also includes resources that aren't visualized so if we look down through here we've got a number of volumes down through here um, some network interfaces so if you imagine you could have you know dozens or hundreds of these um, network interfaces so if they were visualized on the diagram it would be um, quite a um, quite a busy messy diagram so we don't visualize those but you can come to the list view to see everything that's been detected in your um, environment what you can also do here is sort by price either ascending or descending so by, by descending then you get the most expensive resources that are highlighted um, within the list view so you can see exactly what's costing you money um, within your infrastructure and then you can export those to um, CSV or JSON so that would allow you to quickly create a spreadsheet of all of your resources and the associated estimated costs for those um, lastly we've got the security group view so what this does is it lays out all of your security groups in a visualized form and also the traffic flow um, across your infrastructure so here you can see um, we've got ports individual TCP ports that are highlighted and then they've got the traffic flow between them so if we look at this particular security group um, we've got the ingress and egress TCP ports all of the connected resources for that group so it it essentially allows your security team to um, take a helicopter view of what's happening across your network and and they can easily spot if something's open that shouldn't be go back to environments so there we were looking at an AWS diagram um, we've also got through here is a Google Cloud and exactly the same principle um, applies so you've got your all of your individual um, resources you've got your network zones subnets individual components and then as each of them are selected then the uh, metadata um, that's contextual will display within the attribute pane um, same deal you can view in 3d and likewise with Azure exactly the same principle Got your resource groups, your virtual networks, subnets, laid out the individual resources with load balancer, local network gateway, and so forth. And then the last view we have is the container view. So for containerized environments, um, what we do is display the um, services so we've got a cluster ECS cluster service group and then the individual tasks and then each of the tasks is color coded so you've got um, green which is running um, the yellow is pending so that indicates and then the um, grayed out ones are um, stopped services 
across on the right hand side here we've got the ability to filter your diagram so if you're looking for, for a particularly named um, environment you can just plug the the name in here and then the list of diagrams will be reduced um, based on that name so there's a quick walkthrough of the different diagram types um, thanks for watching